this is the candy couple. I'm Julia, Erin's behind the camera. Today I want to show you the easiest tomato soup you can make at home. But before we get started, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button. And also, it would be wonderful if you shared your tomato soup recipes in the comments below. We would love to hear them. So, tomato soup is a staple in our home in the wintertime. Absolutely. That's putting it lightly. <laughs> Erin loves it. Um, so we have it a lot, and I've always made it homemade. I don't think I've, I mean, we buy the cans, but I, we don't eat them anymore. Before I was with you, I would eat the cans. <laughs> and there's a huge difference between homemade and canned tomato soup. And it's, it's so good. And it's so easy to make. Like this is start it, set it, forget it, blend yep. it, and you're done. So we're going to start with a little bit of fat. So I'm using a fourth of a stick of butter here. We've got my butter going. We'll get that started. And then I'm going to take some minced garlic. I always keep minced garlic on hand. You can use your homegrown garlic, but I like the minced garlic for this. It's always so good. I'm just going to get a spoonful. I'm doing a smaller batch because this is lunch for us this week. And I always have to be careful. I just have to be very careful. I can overdo the garlic. I have before. So um, we're just doing a little bit there. And we're just gonna let this melt and give it just a few minutes to go. But while this is melting, we would really appreciate it if you like what we do and you wanna see more from us, to really appreciate if you would subscribe to our channel. Um, it means a lot to us, it really does. I'm smoking a little bit because it's it's going. Oh, it's, it's the pot, it is the pot. So how do we eat this? We eat this as dinner, we eat this as lunch. I feel like tomato soup is considered like a very simple food, but you can really elevate it. And what elevates it are the spices that you use. So we have found basil is like the best spice you could ever, ever use in yeah. tomato soup. It's probably where I use it the most, that in our spicy ziti. If you haven't seen that recipe, please go check out our first pantry challenge right? Uh, video I think that's the one it's on so it's starting to cook here we're just gonna give it a quick stir you can kind of see it's starting to get brown it's gonna look really really nice here in a minute so we're just gonna let that butter melt and start getting that garlic just a tiny bit toasty you don't want to overcook the garlic here the thing is just get the butter melted before we add the tomatoes but this is such an easy recipe it's really set and forget isn't it yeah, yeah. I, I mean, and then, uh, you know, having soup all week, you know, in a, in a colder time, it, it, it makes you feel warmer even too. If you have a wood stove, this would be great to do on your wood stove. Yep. We have not lit ours up yet because our weather right now has been nuts. It's been, you know, 71 day, 30 the next, 71 day, 30 the next. So it, we've not had, we're not consistently at that place where we would actually start ours. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. You can see everything's melty, that butter is getting infused with the garlic. It's perfect. And this pot is clean. That black is just, when I first got this pot, I made a chicken bog and yeah, it's not coming out. So I'm using two quarts of tomatoes that I home can. So that's 64 ounces. Um, you can cut this recipe in half to 32, cut the garlic in half. Did probably a good tablespoon of garlic. I'm going to add that in. And I'm going to add in my second one. And normally I would do this with three quarts because I would normally make this for dinner. But for dinner, you'll see it in our video that will post before this one. Before you put that in there, you do know what you have in your hand, right? Basil. Okay, I thought it said Bailey. I was no, making it's basil. sure. <laughs> it's basil. I know what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm going to put about two, two tablespoons of basil in here. That's what makes it taste really good. And you hear my Instapot air. It's getting a uh, potato salad, so that's what's going in the Instapot. And I'm going to pour about a half a cup to a cup of milk in here. You can use chicken broth. You can use whatever you would like. I'm going to turn it down to a medium low heat and give it a good stir and we'll put the lid on it and we're going to forget it. We're going to let it cook for about 
an hour or two and then we will come back and I will show you the final step to making this easy, simple, frugal homemade tomato soup. So we're back. The soup has been simmering for I'd say about an hour, hour and a half. You see how pretty that looks. This tomatoes just look absolutely beautiful. Now it's time to finish it. And to finish it, all I do is I take a thickener. I'm using arrowroot powder because it's what I have. So you can use arrowroot powder. You can use cornstarch. I have done flour before. So remember if you use flour, you're going to need a bit more. So I'm going to put it in here. And I'm going to do two tablespoons. Well, one and a half. I don't want it too thick. We still want it to be a soup. And then I'm going to take my stick blender, which is my most favorite thing. And if you hear my Instant Pot, it's cooking potatoes. Um, the stick blender has been one of the best things ever. How many of you all use a stick blender? Like, almost every week. I use mine every week. And we're going to go slow, so be careful when you stick blend this. I have burnt myself a few times. <laughs> Don't lift it. how quick that becomes a beautiful texture it thickened up nicely look at that so pretty I'm gonna give it a few more there we go so pretty and Aaron can't wait to try it because Aaron's the taste tester hey anytime we have tomato soup I'll always be the taste tester all right, well, I'm going to put some in a bowl for him, and we'll be right back to let you all see how it tastes. So we're back with the taste tester. Hey, I, I will never complain about being the taste tester. Okay. Unless so, it's chicken and dumplings. So she just gave me a small helping, since it's not time to eat it right now. Mm. Oh, gosh, that's so good. Oh gosh, I've always loved tomato soup. Ah, oh, that's so good. And homemade tomato soup. Mm. It's simple, it's easy, it's frugal, and it's amazing. As you notice, I ate all my helping that she gave me. I probably wasn't supposed to, but you know, <laughs> it was really good. What do you think? Oh, it's going to be a great lunch this week. Can't wait to have this every day. Is it thick enough? Oh, yes. It's perfect. Perfect. Okay. So we're also having grilled cheese sandwiches with that. So, <laughs> um, so it'll be good. Um, I hope this recipe helps you, inspires you. I'd love to know your all's homemade tomato soup recipes, what you all do, how you all do it different. Right, right. You know. And definitely give this a try. It's so easy. So cheap. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great it's a great staple in our household. It is, absolutely. So, as always, thank you for joining us um, on The Candy Couple, where we work hard, live simple, and enjoy life. Have a wonderful day.